Yeah, you know, we, we all have had dreams. Yeah, we have. And, and we still got dreams in here. Yeah, we do. And you know, and Joseph, he, he was just telling his brothers about his dream, and, and it made them upset. And you know, it, I can't understand it. You know, I, I was looking at that, and I was thinking, man, if it had been me, I'd be like, man, go on back to work, Pee Wee. Yeah. I ain't got time to mess with you. Yeah. You know, but it, it, it aggravated his brothers because yeah. they seen something. In his dream. They right. seen something there. Exactly they didn't overlook the, the simplicity of that dream. They knew right. there was something there. Uh -huh. And I feel like it bothered them. Right. To the, so much to the point to where we see later on in Genesis to where they actually wanted to kill him. Yeah. They said, we're going to kill this guy. Yeah. And they got together and started conspiring about it. And one of them said, no, let's just... Let's just throw him in a pit. Right. Let's take his coat back to father and let him know he, he got tore up by animals. and Or he, he just he died. Yeah. And they said, okay, that's what we're going to do. Well, Reuben got the feeling, he, he was soft hearted. He got to say, man, we really don't need to do this. You know, this is our yeah. brother here. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and so come to find out they sold him into slavery. Right. And, uh, you know, we, we see the story where, where they sell him into slavery and, and he's going along and then, and then they, they get into Potiphar's house. And, yeah. and those of you, we know the story, you know, and, and Potiphar's wife, she comes upon him, you know, and she uh -huh. tries to convince him to lay with her. And, you know, all throughout Joseph's life. Yeah. He always kept that dream. That's right. That's good. Nobody could steal that dream from That's him. Good. And even Potiphar's wife, you know that that, that was that was a, that would be a hard decision nowadays for for somebody to come up on you that holds your future in their hand and they want you to do something that, that right. may not be on the, the up and up or may not be on the straight side and that'd be a hard thing to do. Yeah. And yeah. she's saying, "Just come on, nobody will find out." Yeah. He said, "No, oh, I'm not going to do it." Right. And so she framed him, and we see where he got through and thrown into prison, and even in prison. He still held that dream. You see, because your dreams that you're holding on to today, some some of our dreams in here have been crushed yeah. due to family and circumstances. There's 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 people in your life that done things to you, things to you that crushed your dream. That's right. And I come this morning to let you know that your dream can live again. Amen. You have a dream, Amen. and I have a dream. You know, I, I, I like Martin Luther King Jr. and I, yeah. I, I watch a lot of his stuff, and and you know, he had a dream. That's right. Yes. And couldn't nobody take that dream away from right. him. Right. But sometimes right. in America today, especially in our society, especially amongst our younger generation, we allow everybody to take our dream away from us. That's right. You know, I, I've got dreams. I've got things I want to do in my life. I've got dreams for my family, and I've got dreams for my children, and I want to see them come fulfilled and come to pass. You know, yes. Jeff and Carla has a dream of a church here where right. everybody yeah. can come and feel welcome, and they're seeing their dream come to pass. Right. We all have dreams. Yes. Amen. Yes. Right. The bottom line is, have we allowed society to destroy our dreams? Woo. Have we allowed society to come against us and say, well, you can't do that? Yeah. Who said that? Right. Society said that. Right. The evilness of this That's world right. has come against us and said that. They said, That's Joe, good. you can't do that. You, you don't have high enough education. You'll never be able to do that. That's Who right. said that? Yeah. Because I serve the, the, the father that has yeah. a cow on a thousand hills. Right. It's yeah. just waiting there to be asked. Yeah. You know, sometimes we get depressed because things don't come our way. I'm learning in my young age that God's timing is not our time. Right. I can't explain everything about God. Yeah. He's a mysterious yeah. God. I'm not yeah. going to try to. I used to get into debates to debate, when I went to Gateway. It always was about a debate. Everybody yeah. wanted to debate what color suit you wear. And here I was, you know, I, I was... I was brought up, my mother was was on drugs, and we was brought into the bus oh, ministry, and, and my father was a dope head. I'm at Gateway serving the Lord, and my father's sitting at home smoking dope, and these guys wanted to debate. Well, I said, man, I'm not up here to debate nothing, man. Yeah. I said, God is a mysterious God, right. but I have a dream that one day God is going to use me to fulfill something in his kingdom. I said, I'm not going to allow you to sidetrack me and get me off track. You know, I wasn't in prison. Yeah. I didn't have to serve prison time like Joseph did. Yeah. I didn't face all those adversities that come my That's way like good. Joseph did. Yeah. But I'm telling you, if we if we look at his life and we learn from his life that Joseph stayed fast yeah. and he kept his eyes on the oh, Lord right. and he didn't try to get in everything. He didn't try to get in all the political stuff. He said, I'm going to serve the Lord yeah. with everything inside of me. Yeah. You know, Martin Luther King Jr., he he stood up and he, he, he went against the grain. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he went against the grain and I, I was watching some videos on him not too long ago and how he went against the grain and he said, look, he said, I have a dream for equality. Yeah. I want everybody to be treated yeah. equal. Right. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, he stood for something in his life. Amen. That was Amen. his dream. Yeah. You know, what's your dream this morning? Yeah. 
Hallelujah. That is the devil taking away from you. I know a lot of preachers don't want you roaming yeah. in church, but I want you to think about it today. Yes. Yeah. What is your dream? Yeah. What if we allow the enemy to step into our soul and take from us? That's right. Is your dream to serve in the kingdom? Yeah. Is your dream to, to be a business owner, to, to give finances to the kingdom of God? I'm sure Brother Jeff's not going to turn down a millionaire. Yeah. Is that your dream? Has the enemy taken that away from you this morning? What's yeah. your dream? Yeah. What have you been dreaming right. about? You know, Joseph, he had a chance. Pharaoh had a dream. And he, his, his evil doers couldn't interpret that dream. And they said, hey, what about that boy Joseph? Yeah. He was the one. That, he had all those dreams. He was the dreamer. Yeah. He was the wild child. What about him? And Pharaoh sent for him and said, hey, look, let's, let's send for him. Let's see what he can do. You know, he interpreted that dream for Pharaoh and said there's going to be a great famine that come upon that land. But you have the resources and you have the ability yeah. if you do it just right. Uh -huh. If you do it just right, you can, right. You can yeah. have it to where everybody's coming to you. That's you can have plenty of food and stuff yeah. for your family. You can have store plenty up. of food. You can have it all stored up if you just do yeah. it just right. Right. And he looked at Joseph, uh -huh. the wild child, yeah. the dreamer, yeah. and said, can you make that happen for me? Yeah. Can you do that for me? Yeah. What have we been holding against somebody that's in right. our life? That's right. What have we been holding against somebody in our life that, that somehow or some way they can make our dreams come to pass? That's and it. Joseph stood up to the plate and he said, I can. Yeah. You know, sometimes we, we feel like everything should be given to us. We got a chip on our shoulder, you know. And I'm like Brother Harrison. I, I like to I like to work. I, I'll, I'll work. I'll work in the ground, you know. And that's my wife's like, you need to take some time off to be with the kids. You need to take some time off yeah, to be with me. Right. But I like to work, you know. Joseph didn't come up with no excuse. Yeah. You know, when, when he brought him up out of the prison, he could have stood up and said, "Well, hey, look, y'all put me in here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, your people, but way back then, put me in here. Right. I'm not gonna do nothing." Until I get some justification. Yeah. We're, I've been there a time or two. Yeah. I've missed out on a couple of things uh -huh. from God because I wanted some things to be justified in my past. Right. You know, it ain't, it ain't fair. Yeah. It ain't right where I came out of. I'm not right. complaining, but it ain't fair. That's right. And it ain't right. And I, I've always wanted some justification. But I just came to accept the fact of it is what it is. Yeah. I was put in a place where God could mold me and use me and make me. And I'm talking to some people in here this morning who've had things come against you in your past. And yeah. People have done you wrong. We've all been done wrong. Some yeah. of us have been more severe than others. But I'm telling you right now, the key to Joseph's success and what made Joseph what he was is the fact of when, when everything went downhill, when that famine came along, guess what? His brothers. Yeah. Had to come to him, yeah, yeah, and had to ask him for food, yeah, had to ask him for grain to feed their livestock, had to basically beg from him, you know. And Joseph had every right, yeah. If I would have been Joseph, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I mean, we're just we're just common people here. Yeah. If I would have been Joseph, yeah, I would, no. We stand on out there a little ways, yeah. Well, why you just stand on out there a little ways? No. It ain't yeah. happening. But I'm telling you right now, the key to our success in life and in the church is forgiveness. Hallelujah. Joseph looked at those men who tried to kill him, uh -huh. who hated him. Right. His life, his childhood was, was robbed from him. Right. All on their, their shoulders. Yeah. And he looked at them men. Uh huh. And he said, You can have some. Yeah. We got plenty. Yeah. You know, jo Joseph had forgiveness in his heart. That's right. From day one, he never held it against anybody. That's he right. didn't hold it against his brothers when they threw him in the pit. He didn't hold it against his brothers when they sold him into slavery. He didn't hold it against the, 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 the woman who tried to get it. He didn't hold anything. He had forgiveness in his heart. That's good. And that enabled him to walk in trueness of life with Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. He served God. Fullness. Yeah. He didn't look at his surroundings. He didn't look at his circumstances. He served the Lord. Yeah. And good. then, not only did he serve the Lord and his forgiveness allow his dreams to come to pass, but also it enabled his father and all his brothers yeah. to come and enjoy the land of Egypt. They had plenty. He said, uh, bring them on. Yeah. I bring them on. Come bring them all to me. Yeah. You see, if we can understand the true the true feelings of forgiveness, if we can understand the true fulfillment 
of having a forgiving heart. Yeah. Yes. And having the mentality that I'm going to forgive you. You're my brother, but I'm going to forgive you. Right. I'm going to look you in the eyes and say, hey, look, we've had our odds. We've yeah. been in odds with each other, but I'm going to forgive you. Right. Why? Because I'm not serving this down here. I have a dream that one day yeah. I'm going to see my master. One day I'm going to walk on the streets and go. Sometimes, sometimes we lose the glimpse of reality. So one day this life is not here. Yeah. Like Brother Harris talking, but we have a time clock. Yeah. And one day my number is going to be punched. Yeah. And if I have forgiveness in my heart, yeah. then I can see him face to face. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, Joseph yeah. is a prime example That's good. of how a Christian man should live. That's good. When temptation came his way, he flung it off. Right. Yeah. When he had every right and every 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 avenue in his life That's to be right. hateful and have bitterness built up in his heart, if he flung it off, right. he, right. he just threw it to the side. Uh -huh. And he stayed true to his focus. And his focus was Almighty God. Thank his you, focus Thank was doing Jesus. things for the kingdom. Thank his you, focus Jesus. was using his hands to build things and using his knowledge to work things in the field. You see, I always would talk that we ought not have pride, you know, and, and pride cometh before fall, which I believe that to a certain degree. But Joseph had it. He, he did it with his hands. He worked with his hands. Yeah. And he built things, and he had knowledge of what they need to plant here. And you need to put this much water on this, and you need to do this much to this right here. That was knowledge given to him. Uh -huh. Now I can fix anything. Some that guy told me the other day he said, Man, you you know you know everything. I said, No. I said, I know just enough about everything to get me in trouble. I said, yeah. I don't know hardly any, a lot about anything. And and the truth is I, I can do almost anything. Sometimes I have to do things two or three times because I mess it up on the first time and the second time and the third time, and then I realize, well, that's supposed to go right there, and if we do this right here, then, and then I figure it out. I I can almost fix about anything. Yeah. But have I allowed society to say, hey, look. You're not supposed to have a dream. You know they didn't take Mar they didn't take Martin Luther King's dream Jr.'s dream away from him only but death. Yeah. And sometimes we'll give our dream away for ten dollars. That's right. That's sometimes right. we'll allow the the, the right. enemy of this world to sneak in here and steal our dream for ten dollars. Yeah. Or or so and so done me wrong. Or so and so has anybody in here never been done wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, if I was Joseph. Them brothers wouldn't have got nothing. I, I've had people in my life that, that done me wrong, and I knew I was in the right. And I and sometimes, you know, sometimes there's a questionable, there's a gray area, and you think, okay, well, if they translated this and that. But I knew, I knew, Brother Jeff, in this situation, I knew I was in the right. I said, I know I'm in the right. I told yeah. my wife, I said, I, I know there's no way. I, I'm in the right. And, you know, and, and, and we would talk, and, you know, like, and I said, I'm going to go get them. I'm going to just go confront it. I'm not a confrontational type guy. I haven't been in very many fights, but I'm going to confront this. And she said, no, that's not probably the right thing to do. And I said, well, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I'd go along, and I'd be thinking, and I'd be praying, and, and I'd say, God, I need, I need to get this resolved because this is making me look bad. Yeah. It's hurting my feelings. Right. It's not making me want to serve you. Yeah. It's not making me want to walk it with you. And, right. and God, it ought not be coming that way. I've had, he's done me wrong, God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever had anybody do you wrong and they come out yeah. on the successful side? Yeah. 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 You know, they, the old saying is that crow don't taste bad with salt and pepper on it. But, you know, I've had people, I've had this, this, this person do me wrong and they come out on the successful side. Yeah. And I'm looking at them going, man, I, I, you know, I, I didn't do anything. Yeah. You know, the times that I've done something, I didn't get caught, but this time I'm really, it's yeah. really true. I didn't do anything. Yeah. And you know they come out smelling like a rose, and everything's all cheery. And, yeah. and here I am, trying to bitter, bitterness is trying to come yeah. in my heart, yeah. get yeah. me upset, get me yeah. mad at them, everybody in the yeah. way. And I'm thinking, God, what am I going to do? It ain't right. It ain't fair, you know. And then He just reminds me, yeah, you know, I found you guys. Yeah, yeah. when you were in your worst situation. Yeah, Amen. I brought you in on a bus ride. Yes. In the most horrible situation. Yeah. I saved you. I'm, I allowed you to go down into the water yeah. 27 years ago. Yes. I filled you with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. I've allowed you to walk in my life. Yes. I blessed you with a family Amen. who loves you. I bless you with friends. Hallelujah. I bless you with the talents and abilities that you can do what you do. Uh -huh. And you were all upset at me over this one guy right. that looks like he's coming out ahead. Right. 
and you want to seek revenge. Yeah. Yeah. And it's at, at that moment I just had to step back and say, okay, God, I'm not going to allow that situation yeah. to take my dream. Because I, I know there's dreams in here today. Yeah. Statistically speaking, there's dreams in here today that's right. been squashed. Yeah. Because somebody's did something to you. Yes. Yeah. And you're like I am. You're wanting to you're holding your thumb on that and saying, yeah. Man, I, I ain't gonna forgive that. Yeah. And they're on known about their own life. And you're, you're right. holding on to it. Every day you wake up, you're like, yeah. so and so in 1941, yeah. he wrong. That's right. And every day in your life, you wake up, and that's every day that goes by that you Amen. don't fulfill your dreams that, that God has for you and you have for yourself. Yeah. Now, I'm in sales. I, I, I sell for a living, and uh, I'm 100% commission. If I don't sell, I don't eat. Yeah. yeah. And, and so I have to go out there every day and kill it and bring it home and and I talked to a salesman the other day. We were talking about this, and and he was talking about this. And he don't even go to church. I said, man, you're getting all over my message, man. He said, what do you mean? I said, we got to talking about dreams. He said, well, it's a proven fact. He said, I, I got a piece of property. I want to buy it now. And he yeah. said, I don't. He said, I don't like doing follow up. I don't like calling people a second and third time. Yeah. He said, so when I get a bunch of people I need to call, he said, I go out there and go down that road. And he said, I go past that for sale sign. He said, I sit out there on that property and I just daydream. Yeah. He said, I see my barn. Yeah. He said, I see my house. Yeah. He said, I see my pond. Right. He said, I see, I see everything I got out there, my horse arena. Yeah. And he said, when I see that, he said, that just gives me enough motivation yeah. to make those phone calls and do what I got to do. He said, it's yeah. a proven fact. Yeah. And that's why I feel like the, the word says, without, the people without a vision will perish. That's right. Because that's if right. we don't have something to live for, yeah. we'll perish. That's if right. you ain't got nothing to live for, you're just going to wander around in the wilderness yeah. day in and day out. Yeah. You gotta have something to live for. Yeah. And I've come this morning for no other reason. I know this may have been elementary, but I'm used to teaching the youth, so you have to forgive me. Yeah. But no other reason to let you guys know: don't allow the enemy of this world, whether it be yes. through, through things that hurt you or people that done you wrong and and things in the past, don't let anything else from this day forward steal your dream. Right. If your dream lives, you live. Yeah. If your dream lives, you will live. If your yeah. dream succeeds, you will succeed in life and in business. So don't allow someone. Thank you. Yeah. To take your dream. You know, Christ was the perfect example. Yeah, he was. On forgiveness. Yeah. You know, they, they took him and, and, and they, they, they crucified him. And he's helped people, callous people, and they, the crowds followed him and they, they took him and they crucified him. And his his words on the cross was Father, uh -huh. forgive them. Yeah. Right. So they know what, know what they do. That's right. yeah. Forgiveness is the key yeah. to a fulfilled life. Forgiveness yeah. is the key to a fulfilled life. Well, yeah. Brother Joe, you don't understand. Yeah. You don't know what I've been through. I don't understand. I don't know what you've been through. I don't I don't know your situation. You may have every right, right to be mad at that individual. You may have every right to be mad at that circumstance. But I'm telling you today, forgiveness is the key. Thank forgiveness you, is the key. Yeah. And if I were you, I would be making my way to that person and I would be taking the low road and I would say, I forgive you. I yeah, forgive yeah. you. And I'm asking you to forgive me. Well, it wasn't my fault. It may not have been your fault. Yeah. It may not have been anything to do with you. But I'm telling you, the key to success in your life is forgiveness yeah. and not allowing that bitterness to sit up in your heart. If yeah. you forgive, you will live. Yeah. If you forgive, you will live. That's what the, 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 the Christ Amen. showed us on the cross. Hallelujah. Our Father, forgive them. Right. For they know not what they do. Right. Yeah. If you forgive, you will live. Amen. I'm going to close out here shortly. But I, I just, I just want to tell you guys a story about my life. I, uh, I used to be, I used to always take the low road in, in a lot of situations and and that one situation came came around, and I told my wife, I said, I'm sick of taking the Lord. Yeah. I said, I'm not going to do it no more. And I called one of my preacher friends from Texas. And I said, man, you ain't going to believe this. I said, I'm not taking the low road no more. He said, yeah, you are. He said, you're always taking the low road. He said, you're going to take the low road in this situation. And that's what I, I, I want to let you guys know. You'll never go wrong by taking the low road. Right. It may not have anything to do with you. Yeah. It may not have any... You may not have done anything to it, but if you take that low road, you will always win. Amen. In the end. Amen. Let's stand.